this and where is it now and, and where does it look like it's headed? Well, it's been slowly moving north into the west, and what we really want to see is it to finally take that track to the north and uh, way off to the east. But it hasn't moved very much, Ken. So those folks there on the island and the out islands there, the Bahamas, are still going to be dealing with at least some section of this hurricane for some time. And before we know it, it will hopefully be up to the northwest, but still kind of seeing right over Grand Bahama and some of the locations there. Swell, still a problem, surge, uh, and, and the strong wind. But we have the bands now forming in across areas of Florida and the wind is also picking up uh, just recently there right around Fort Pierce. I've seen wind gusts to about 36 miles per hour. There's a hurricane warning that's going to be uh, in effect there and that goes for the north a hurricane watch into the south a tropical storm warning as they are anticipating this hurricane to travel to the north causing some problems there. Hurricane storm surge. Here's a couple locations there expecting it to uh, push maybe three five feet above the normal tide. Maybe even a little bit higher than that for these locations here in the northern Florida uh, coast uh, into areas of Georgia and then South Carolina. So we'll continue to watch this over the next uh, few hours heading into this afternoon. This is the fifth category five hurricane since 2016 going back to Hurricane Matthew and then Dorian. But now it has been uh, at least downgraded to the category four uh, strength there with the wind uh, coming down just a bit. Okay, let's talk about what we have going on locally. This is actually Chinook Winds Casino Resort camera. Temperatures in the mid 60s, some blue sky. A lot of people out there for Labor Day. Mount Hood Meadows, nice view there. This is uh, the camera and uh, yeah, mountains looking beautiful at this hour with a nice crisp blue sky. And uh, we'll be continuing to see that as we go into the afternoon hours. Here's your Labor Day forecast uh, from the afternoon into the evening hours. Temperatures warming up to about the mid 80s there for the gorge. Uh, specific, specifically areas like the Dalles, a little bit further to the east. Hood River might see those temperatures in the mid 80s too. And then we'll be cooling down by about 8 p.m. to the mid 70s here in the valley. Uh, a few clouds off to the west, a little bit of rain activity over the Pacific, but not much for the state of Oregon. And we'll keep it that way heading into the afternoon and evening hours. Hours. No rain in sight. Uh, that goes for practically the whole seven day forecast. 86 on Wednesday should be the warmest day this week. Cooling down to about the upper 70s by Saturday. Boy, we still got time to make it to Lincoln City. That shot from the Chinook <laughs> Wins camera looked really good. We'll jump into the coin car and get out there. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Won't take